Hey guys, Casey here with Mountain Bluebird. Um, good, good morning, good afternoon to you. I hope you're doing well. Um, listen, a few of you have asked to learn more about my uh, my electrically lifting bed. So um, I've been wanting to create a, a video to put that together. It's been a little harder because we're in the winter time and it's snowing more and cold out. So it's a little harder to um, find time to get outside and do that. But I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna do a little video here to show you a little more details on it and just to, to kind of help you uh, guys out with that, all right? So right now I'm in the back of my van. This is what I call the garage. And it's called the garage because I can actually fit four bikes back here very easily. They fit inside these uh, these one-up bike trays. They're fantastic. Um, bikes roll right in. I wish I had one here right now to show you, but I'll try to do another video to show you that. Works really, really well. And um, I just actually got back from some cross-country skiing. So I've got some cross-country skis and stuff in here. And so anyways, I'm sitting in my garage here just uh, uh, to do this video for you guys. And, you know, my whole system here with my uh, electrical lifting bed is it's all built in. I mean, it's all part of one frame. I have... Um, I used uh, extruded aluminum uh, to frame out my, my cabinetry, built it all myself, built it by literally one piece at a time um it is bolted down in the 12 factory uh uh tie down points six on each side in the van that is it it is not attached to the walls um it is so strong that i can do pull-ups anywhere on this framing um and it does not rock it doesn't move it is solid as can be um I designed it and built it to be very strong, but it is this aluminum framing, the one inch uh, extruded aluminum, uh, often known as 8020, that creates my framework. And it goes from the back of the van all the way to the front. I actually started in the back and started in the back um, and built that forward because I knew I wanted a queen bed that was fixed all the time, always ready to go. I'm literally sitting underneath it right now. Uh, and so I have this wonderful queen bed that is always ready to go. And, um, and I've got this garage that fits, like I said, my bikes in all wheels on. I don't even have to take a wheel on. They roll right in the bed. I can lower down to, um, the height of the, um, tallest seat of the bikes that are in here at the moment. Or if I have no bikes in like right now, I can lower all the way down. So I'll show you that. Um, I'll show you that, uh, in a moment here. Um, Let's see, while I'm sitting, um, and maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll do that right now, um, just to, to, maybe we'll start there. And then some people have asked how I attach it, um, both at the base and at the top. And partly why I just kind of gave you a little overview is because, um, because I'm using this extruded aluminum and it's because it's bolted right down to the factory floor mounts and it's continuously connected all the way from the back of the van to the front of the van on all these bolt downs everywhere through, um, it's all one continuous piece. So it is solid, it's robust. Um, and so, uh, let me, let me maybe give you a little more overview of that. So, um, I have, uh, as you can see here, I've got these um wheel well uh uh sections framed out and i can store things like camp chairs i got a yoga mat i've got some my air uh, i've got a built a built-in air compressor so i got my air pumps and stuff i've just got some bike gear and stuff in here but all this is all interconnected and then right here in this corner you can see the actual linear actuator it's 12 volt dc you can see the wire and stuff going to that and that is bolted right down to the factory floor mount that piece of metal there and then it's got a piece of frame that goes forward and continues and this piece of frame continues all the way down so it interconnects with the factory floor mount behind the wheel well and up forward of that and then up here at the top you can see it's just again got another connection point that's pretty much the same connection point at the bottom it allows it to pivot inward and outward because unfortunately the van walls they're so curved they will actually curve in about a foot from the floor upward even more than a foot i think it goes from like 72 inches up to 50 inches wide at the top it's a substantial curve in so those those pivot points allow it to curve in so if i actually show you this in action here i'm gonna i've got my controller here i literally just hit a, a preset button and i'm gonna sit back and you can see the bed is lowering down right now it's that simple um and it's going to lower all the way down to its lowest setting which is based on the height of the linear actuators or the length of them that i have um i wish i did have longer ones uh, i mean shorter slightly shorter ones but i size these uh based on a couple different um uh, limits uh for my coat closet up there and and uh some other things but anyways now it's all the way down and so now i've got a lot of space on top of my bed 
Um, and you can see when that went down, all these pivot points and the linear actuators just simply just, just curve right with it. Um, I've got this uh, track that it follows. Um, so you can see my pie that's out. I'm going to have some peach pie here in a moment. Um, let me actually turn on a little bit of lights in here so you can see that. My bed's a little messy at the moment. Um, but anyways, there's my bed um, with uh, uh, the linear, linear actuators down. You can see the curtains in the back, which I actually prefer the curtains over blinds um, for the windows because it actually insulates the whole entire rear door, um, which is all that metal door is cold. And now if I come in here and I'm going to hit, let's just go to level three. You can see the bed just simply goes right up. Piece of cake. Um, so to come in here and, and show you a little more on one of these pivot points, uh, oh, you put a little more light on here for us. You can just see it's just going right up. It's that simple. Um, and so you can see it's silent. And right now it's coming to its preset set point at that height. Um, it can go higher, but, but that's, uh, that's the spot uh, that I've got it to a preset right now. So that's it. Um, hopefully that helps a little more with, uh, understanding, you know, it's just a simple pivot point right there, um, that these allow the linear actuator to pivot this way. And probably a couple of key points to mention is that I do have, um, these, uh, slides in here. So this is my track. I've got one, um, two in the front, one on each side, and that's it. And that supports the bed from rocking around side to side or going forward or backward. So it is solid. So just to give you a perspective of that here, I am pushing with all I might on this and see it, there is no movement. There is no rocking anything. Any movement I do is actually moving the entire van um, because these are so, so strong um, that hold it and glide down. And granted, you could get by with one of these, you'd have a little bit of movement. Um, two will absolutely lock it in. Any more I think is, uh, is unnecessary. One thing about these is obviously if you have more than one track, they have to be perfectly um, uh, vertical and also um, uh, um, side to side. They've got to be perfectly aligned as well um, with each other, right? They have to be parallel with each other in, in, in two dimensions. Um, forward, backward, and side to side. If they're not perfectly vertical, uh, parallel with each other, um, you're going to have a binding. And so that's one thing you have to make sure you do. And I just use the tracks on these to do that. Um, so there you go. That hopefully gives you a little more insights into uh, the bed and how it works. And uh, with that, I'm going to sign off. Let me know if you have any questions. And I wish you good luck with your... Uh, electrically raising lowering bed the big advantage of it is i can get the bed up and out of the way um so i can literally walk through the garage and that's fantastic or put something really big in here if i need to um and loading unloading bikes really simple with the bed up and out of the way and when i don't have bikes in here or when i just need to go to sleep and i lower the bike the bed down as low as i can i get a lot more headroom above the bed and so it's plenty of headroom and um and comfort and uh instead of it being fixed and locked in at some level. And then later on, you get a bike that's taller um, or you've wasted space because you set it for a bike that's taller when you really don't have that, that tall of a bike. It's a lower bike or you stop biking um, and then you have less headroom above. So either way, it it, it, it accommodates any use. So like in the, right now in the winter time, I'm not biking as much so I can lower it down because obviously skis don't need as much space. And also I should point out this whole entire pan is stainless steel. Um, I had it custom made, fabricated, is welded in the corners, it's got a one inch lip all the way around it. That whole entire garage pan slides out with 500 pound sliders. So I can put 500 pounds on it and it slides out six feet. And it, excuse me, five feet. Um, it's six feet long, but it'll slide out five feet. And so I can actually stand in it, slide it all the way out. Um, and any water that gets in there from skis or else, you can see there's a few little water drops in there from skiing today that I did. Uh, it will all just drain right out the back. Um, so um, that's a really nice convenience. So anyways, again, hope you enjoyed it and uh, talk to you later. Bye.